Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is an article that came out in Newsweek over in Yellowstone. They actually found an area where trees are dead and the soil is glowing. So they came out with this new article on the 5th of April, 2019, entirely new thermal area discovered at Yellowstone super volcano. You know, one thing I can honestly say for decades, I've been hearing about things such as, you know, eventually there's going to be an eruption at Yellowstone and Periodically, I will, you know, just kind of look at some of the stories that come out about it. But this one just seems a little interesting, so I thought I would do this. Scientists have discovered a new thermal area at Yellowstone National Park, which is believed to have grown in the past two decades. Experts at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory found what appears to be a previously unknown pocket of warmth nestled between West Turn Lake and the Turn Lake Thermal Area. After studying the latest thermal infrared images of the National Park taken in April 2017, according to the U.S. National Geodetic Survey, the team then checked high resolution aerial photos of the same spot captured in 2017 by the National G uh, I'm sorry by the National Agriculture Imagery Program and noticed dead trees and bright soil. Wow. These were signs of a thermal area that were um expecting to find so they were expecting to find this but it's quite interesting dead trees and bright soil wow wow in contrast a 1994 picture showed a crop of healthy trees which started to fade in a 2006 image researchers therefore believed the thermal area near the northeast border of the Sour Creek resurgent uh, dome first emerged in the late 1990s or early 2000s. The region where the thermal area sits is relatively unexplored. Around a half a mile from the nearest trail and 11.2 miles from the nearest trailhead. That explains why the thermal area has only just been discovered. The U.S. National Geodetic Survey states, Yellowstone thermal areas are the surface expression of a deeper magmatic system, and they are always changing. They are heating up, they are cooling down, and they can move around. The U.S. National Geodetic Survey said of the National Park framed for its long dormant supervolcano. More than 10,000 thermal features can be found around 120 thermal areas in Yellowstone, most of which sit in remote and hard to reach areas. Interesting. Thermal areas are made up of a sequence of geologic units with at least one thermal feature, like a geyser sitting inside an area of a hydrothermal, thermally um, altered ground, hydrothermal mineral deposits, geothermal gas emissions, heated ground, and or a lack of vegetation according to the U.S. National Geodetic Survey, the findings highlight that changes are always taking place, sometimes in remote and generally inaccessible areas of the park, the U.S. National Geodetic Survey said. The thermal area at 44.6635 degrees 
um, north latitude, 110-279 degrees west longitude can be seen using Google Earth with the time slider function showing how it grew over time. Earlier this year, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory revealed that 2018 was a record-breaking year for the tallest active geyser in the world, which is located at the park. The steamboat geyser erupted 32 times, topping the 29 eruptions in 1964. Wow. Yeah, this must be quite a finding because they don't put a lot of stuff out about it. I know the, um, I think that Express, I can't think of the website. They usually put out a lot of stuff and I'll just kind of read over it. But this is the first time in a long time I've seen Newsweek put something out about it. So this must be pretty significant for them to go up and do an aerial shot and see dying trees and glowing soil. Boy, I can't get over that. I wonder what that looks like. I'm going to have to look it up. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. They have already said if Yellowstone super volcano erupts, America is gone. America would be over for real. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.